Um, this is for uh, a little um, thing for everyone of the Most Haunted fans uh, that's asked the question about the live show and the cable that uh, was attached to me. Um, it's not for the lunatic fringe, this is actually for uh, the fans who have asked a, a very sensible question. Um, throughout the, uh, the show there was um, over two miles of cables wrapped around from the trucks into the house and around the house to make it all work. Uh, this is a similar cable to the ones we use on the, on the, um, on the show. Uh, it's a dark cable. What happens is one, one part of the cable is attached to the camera and the other part goes into uh, another connection which goes to the truck and gives the pictures. Now, what we do is, so we don't jog the camera, is standard practice, you always put the cable, you loop the cable, do it, you loop the cable through your belt. And the reason you loop the cable through your belt is if the camera's on one end here, the camera's on this end, and somebody steps on the cable and pulls it, you feel it at the back here. So you mean you can stop. What that does is stop the camera from being jolted. If you didn't have this movement and somebody stepped on the cable, you'd be walking along and the camera would jolt. So you get a shot. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to put this back in now. I'm going to show you the different colour of it in a similar situation. We haven't got the actual stairs and stuff of where we were on the night. Stu, do you want to go down that corridor? I'm going to go through there and have a look. Yep. You okay? Yep. Is anyone your... I'm ready. Right. I had my camera, which, was, uh, which I put down, and the cable still attached to me. This is the movement, this was the stairs. I've actually moved to the stairs because I heard a noise. I heard, felt the pull on, on my cable, so what I've done is gone as far as I can down the stairs. I've had to do a, a, to crouch down because of the headroom on the camera at the bottom of the stairs. I didn't quite know where it was, but I assumed uh, that I needed to crouch down, and that was it. Stuart, if you could, can you go night vision with that and just to show the, the difference between this cable? This is a dark cable in the daylight, night vision, what colour is it? Put that to that bit. White. Okay. This is now white. That's white. Now just to show you, I've got one other cable here. Let's just take this cable off now. Which is a BNC cable. Which is another one that at night. What colour is this, Stuart? It's white. Just go to day vision. Okay, hold on. What colour is it now? Purple. Yeah. So we have black, we have purple, we have blue cables, uh, we, and we have orange cables and, and, and red cables. A lot of them come up white in the infrared. Um, problem solved. Uh, a few people asked why I didn't have the camera in my hand, also on the stairs. Uh, the reason I put the camera down because when you cross the infrared lights, there's a camera at the bottom of the stairs looking up, uh, it whites out the camera. So if you look at this, that's what you would have seen, absolutely nothing, because I've got the infrared lights here. So that's why you don't put a point one infrared light straight into the lens of a camera holding your arm. It's kind of simple, really.